I'm from Singapore and I'm weak and I'm a weak Muslim. Sometimes when I do some things that point to Sunnah and people see it, I feel ashamed that I'm being portrayed like a good Muslim when I have a lot of bad characteristics and habits. Should I ignore this feeling? Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim Don't do it for the people. Don't do it and don't avoid it. Do or not do, don't do it for the people. I know perfectly what, how you are feeling. Do it for Allah's sake, don't do it for their sake. Don't do it for them to praise you, then you are doing it, or don't stop because they're going to look different to you. In those kinds of countries also, uh, anytime someone tries a little bit, they say, ah, you're just showing off. Ah, we know you, you did this, and now you're praying extra, now you think, you think you're, you know, right? Like crabs in a, you know what? Huh? Pot? No. <laughs> Crabs in a bone marrow, in a barrel. One tries to climb up, the other one pulls them down. And they all make fun of you. Eh, oh, they call you names and this and that. Um, don't stop. But if you feel that you're constantly under nazar and eyes and teasing, then hide away somewhere to do your good words, do your good things. Hide away somewhere until you become strong doing it and you don't care how people look at you. You don't care. We're doing it not because we are good, we're doing it because we are bad and we want to be good. This is the intention. We're doing it because we want to clean ourselves. Maybe this is what our Shaykh is teaching us, this is what Islam is teaching us, this is what our Tariqat is teaching us. If other ways they say they're doing it to show that they are better than others, it's not us. If you have that, when you're doing it and you think you're better than others, stop it. There's no blessing in that action too. But if you're doing it to please Allah and you're feeling the burn, people looking at you different or they're teasing you or this or that, be strong. If you're not strong enough, do a little bit here and there where people can look at you, but mostly try to do it hiddenly somewhere until you will find a jamaat that everyone is doing it like that and you feel that you're not the odd one out. It is very good you're feeling this way because you have to feel like a stranger. If you don't feel like you're a stranger, that you don't belong out there, then you have not come to faith in the Ahir Zaman. You must be garib. Not garib doing wrong things, garib doing the right things. Then inshallah, come and visit us. You'll see everyone is as crazy as you, or even crazier. Then you're going to say, I'm not that bad. But when you have a jamaat, there will be strength, there will be power there. Even if it's two people. Don't worry. When you do it, Allah is with you, the Prophet is with you. Who gives a flying uh, saucer what other people they are saying? or they're thinking. You must have that boldness inside of you also for the sake of Allah. Because some cultures, they teach so much to be humble that without Islam, without proper tariqat, without proper spirituality, it becomes a thing that you worship also to be humble. And it becomes nonsense. There's no reason to be humble also. And people start being humble also for what? For show. For show. Be real. You know, in this Jamaat, we don't even call each other brother. Aki. We call it Aki, right? Sounds so. so. We don't call each other brother. Why is that? Because to say you are my brother means I will lay down my life for you. If you haven't reached to that level yet, no? they are saying there are 12 levels of friendship in Arabic. You know that? If you haven't reached to that level, then don't give each other titles and don't give yourself a title that you can carry. No need. But you want to do something good? Know that there are 70 shaitans in front of you. Do it for Allah's sake and who cares what people think? Say to yourself, I did so many wrong things and I did not care what Allah thinks. I didn't care what the Prophet thinks. I didn't care. I did the wrong things openly. And now I'm doing the right thing that Allah loves and I care what all these idiots they are thinking? 
Use that to fight against your ego. Little bit, little bit, little bit. Find a share, hold on to him. He can give you formula, what to do. All this is to make your heart to become alive, to become strong, to have iman, to increase that faith. And to have a religion that is going to give you life. Not a religion that is just going to beat you down. You don't know what you're doing, why you're doing. Allah make it easy for you, inshallah. Rahman. Yeah. But then, one thing I have to say also, where, when you have a shaykh, it's easier. Find any shaykh. You cannot just jump from zero to a hundred. Okay? You want to do something. That's why with us, for, for instance, even if you want to, the murids, they want to do extra zikr, they have to ask permission from the shaykh. If they want to wear the turban 24 hours, they have to ask permission from the shaykh, that kind of a thing. Because by yourself, you think you are sick, you know that you are sick and you want to take a medicine, but without consulting the doctor, you just take as much medicine on you, it will actually kill you. It's not going to make you to feel better. So look at it that way also, inshallah. May Allah make you to be with His beloved ones. Amen. Make it easy to become His servant, inshallah. Fatiha. Amen.